Well, hello there once again, and welcome back to my little shop of horrors, lady and gentlemen. If there's any ladies watching, I'd be completely astounded, but you never know. So, I just got through getting the Z-axis on my old Smithy 3-in-1 machine hooked up and functional. She no pretty, but she work. And that's kind of my style, not pretty. And to show you that it works, we shall uh, we go down with that. And the numbers are changing. Awesome. I am very, very freaking happy about that. So there's the Z axis. And we have the x-axis and the x-axis works and then we have the y-axis and the y-axis works so there we go ladies and gentlemen it's functional pretty awesome now like i said she no pretty but you know that's kind of the way i've been my entire life it works and you got this three miles of wire back here that you lined up with and I just zip tied it out of the way and you know, do what you got to do I had to go to the hardware store and the way I got this thing on here it's kind of funky and this came to me a couple nights ago oh, hell's my came to me a couple nights ago I was sitting in there pondering my navel you know, like like a, an exhaust clamp kind of thing. Just clamp around that rod or that retaining nut here instead of drilling holes in it. Just clamp on it. And originally, actually, I was going to clamp it, drill a hole in that, and, and trap a trap a stud. And I, and I got to looking at it. And I just uh, used the bracket that came with the kit. I had to trim it down there, as you can see. But it went right on the end of the little U-bolt that I made out of some all thread. Originally, I had a piece of rod laying around here that I used and I threaded the end. I swear I think it was a piece of welding rod. But it turned out to be just like, I don't know, quarter inch too short, half inch too short. And it kept stripping the end of the, the threads off and the nut would pop off and wouldn't hold it on there. And it was kind of funky anyway. So I ran up to the hardware store and I got a chunk of all thread and some of those uh, nylock nuts. I was wanting barrel nuts, but they only went down to 10 by 32 and that's an 8 by 32 rod. And then I had to drill one hole and oh, that was a, just a joy because I uh, broke the tip off my little spotting drill in there and I had to fiddle fart around, but I finally got that drilled out and tapped and then I had to cut a cut a screw down for it but shit is uh, not too bad it like I said it works I gotta do something with this wire here I thought I had some more of these little nylon clamp things and I did I had one but I needed one more and when I went up there to that hardware store I was looking for some of them because that's where I got them and of course not they don't have any so that'll be down the road I'll, I'll, I'll take care of that get that up out of the way but anyway there you are it's functional and I'm a very very happy camper it, uh, amazing what I can do when I put my mind to something so that's the beginning um, of something that you know it it's basically going to transform this clapped out old machine because this thing's got back back play and everything you know <clears throat> and the dials are all messed up you know I'd like this what the heck you can't use that for nothing kind of got the same thing going back here you know no lines or nothing in this up here you know there's no no center lines on anything and i don't think it would matter you know 
I mean, you look at the chintzy little piece of aluminum that they slapped up there with a couple rivets. Yeah, that's high precision, right? So this is precision. As precision as I will ever need for this machine. And I am very, very happy. So there is an update. I do appreciate you stopping in and uh, kind of taking an interest in what I do. Fumble farting around out here in this disaster area of a garage. I have a whole bunch of cleaning up to do now. Uh, putting tools away. Trying to find a place to put tools away. I got more tools than I got storage unit, which is kind of hard to imagine because there's um, how many? Three full size roll, four full, four rollaways in here, two full size snap ons, two craftsmen's, and I got, you know, I don't know what I got over there. Two Kennedys with the uh, middle boxes and another top box for crap and everything is just jammed completely full I got tools laying around here running out my ears and I got no place to put them So that's gonna be next on my list Is to start finding a place to put all of this stuff so it's handy when I need it because It's getting to the point where it's dangerous in this garage and something's gonna have to go. <clears throat> it's the pack rat itis that I got. It's like severe case, borderline hoarder. I don't even think I think I blew past borderline a long time ago. But anyway, this is what this video is about. Here is the Z axis for the Smithy it is now put on and functional. So appreciate you swinging by. You know, take, taking an interest in what I do here in this little rat hole. and Like, share, subscribe, whatever else you do on the internet. And I will talk to you later. Bye.